Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this tutorial we are making a smile reduction project using Python NLP. So let us get started. So I already created a file in my sublime text. So here is my. So here you can see a file smile reduction one. So now I am going to import cb2. So import cb2. Then we have to create a video capture of it. So which one help me or you? to open your camera so let's say video equal cb2 dot video capture so inside this video capture of the you have to put here zero because we are going to use our default camera okay that's me uh, we are using our uh, laptop camera then we have to create a look so which one help you uh, to uh, create the video capture frame so while true then put here the red so this red uh, give me some boolean value so if the boolean value is uh, zero so this will be false if the boolean value is one so this camera will be open then we are going to uh, show our image using the IM show method so inside this parameter first you have to initialize your window name so let's put, put here frame and the uh, burial name is the frame then you have to put here a white key so which one help you to uh, uh, make this video capture frame in a top of a stack so if so let's put here a condition so if anyone pressed you so this infinite loop will be back back then finally we are going to release our video so release then we are going to destroy all the window then destroy all windows so let's run it for control v so you can see it takes some time okay 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 so it will open my camera so you can see uh here's my camera my camera is opening right now so we have to detect our face so after detecting our face we are detecting our smile okay so let's press q okay so if i we, if we detect our faces so that's so you have to uh uh, using a hard cascade file okay so let's say detect equal cb2 dot cache cage plus c power so inside this parameter you have to put here the uh, cascade file name so here's my cascade file so let's copy it from here and dot xml okay then we have to convert our uh, frame into a grayscale format because this hard cache bit actually give you some more amount of accuracy when you will uh, convert it in your frame into grass color image. So cbt dot cbt color. Then inside the parameter you have to put in the frame, then the color format. So let's say color bgr2 gray. Then we are detecting our uh, faces. Okay. So let's say faces equals cb2 dot detect not a cb2 uh that should be face detect uh, dot detect multi scale okay so it is the detect multi scale so you have to put in the frame then next scale ratio so let's put here 1.3 so you can also put your 1.5, 1.6, 1.7, something. It ups to you. So if this accuracy is not so good, you can increase this value. So let's put here 1.3 as the initial value. So you can also increase this one. So now it's time to iterate all the value from our faces. That's mean we have to iterate all the coordinates. So for x comma y comma w comma h, uh, y comma w comma h. So in the faces so let's say faces 
that we are uh, creating a rectangle here. So cb2 dot rectangle rectangle. Okay. So inside this parameter, you have to put here uh, the frame, then coordinate. So let's put here the first coordinate y x comma y, and the second coordinate we put here x plus w, and the y plus h. And you have to put your uh, color. So let's say color 1515255 uh, and the thickness. So let's put it to. So if I run this program for control V, okay, so it will open in my camera and it will redirect my face. Okay, so something wrong. BGR2 grid is not okay. We have to put your cb2 dot bgr2 graph cb2 dot bgr2 graph then control b for run this program again so take some time okay okay so it will open in my camera right now okay so you can see here it will uh, it is detected my faces here okay so now we have to cut down these faces it's called the ROI. That's mean a region of interest. So we are cutting down this page and put into our smile hair cascade file. So it will easily detect this one. Okay. So let's uh, import the smile for a smile. CB2 dot cascade classifier, and you have to put put, put here the smile one. So let's say rename it. Ctrl C, copy, then go to here and paste it here for single position. Okay, so inside this single position to put here. So now we have to cut down this residue. So let's open my paint. Okay, let me sound. My computer is being hanged right now. Okay, paint. Okay, paint. Apps. Okay. So let's discount about uh, this one. So how can it detect? So let's assume that it's a face, okay, face of a person. So I'm not so good in art. So it is a face of a person. So first, the hair cascade of the face detect will help you to detect your face. Let's this is the face. So now, so what actually the ROI? ROI stands for a region of interest. So that's mean first it will uh, card this one, card these faces, and it will put into our smile detection cascade file. So smile detection cascade file easily detect our smile. If this person is smiling or not, okay. So this is the actually uh, point we are trying to uh, do. So let's minimize it, okay. So after detecting the faces, we are cutting the uh, cutting those faces from our uh, what do you call uh, frame. Okay, so let's call ROI. That's a gray equal CB2 or uh, not a CB2. Uh, we are cutting down from our GraphQL image because we are already uh, converted our image into GraphQL format. So that's how to put here Y plus H and the X. Uh, colon x plus w so what actually did so this mean so let's assume that uh, this is a y coordinate and this is x coordinate okay so this is the x coordinate and this is the y coordinate so it also same as my images so let's in, in my images it should be the x coordinate and this one uh, should be the y coordinate so let's this is what y coordinate okay so you put here y is to y plus s. Y is to y plus s. So where is the height of the images? Or you can see the uh, rectangle. Okay. So y plus y plus s. That means s is the height of the picture. Okay. Height of the um, detecting faces. Okay. So it will go up on here. So this is the cardinal of s. And this is also the y axis, so this one be y plus s. So 
we are cutting this one only this one because you can see here inside my loop you can see here for x comma y comma uh, x comma y w comma h so that's me we can first detect the x coordinate and also the y coordinate and this is the is and this is the x plus w so we are going to cutting down this one so that's why i put here y to y plus s and x to x plus s because it is the x axis it also same as this one so x plus w okay so that's why i put here uh this one okay so this one help you uh, to cut your image so so now it's time to detect our smiles so cd2 dot detect multi scale so inside this multi scale you have to put in the roi gradients then you have to put here a scale ratio let's put here 1.5 okay so you already put here a 1.3 then put here 1.5 and the scale we put here 5 now it's time to iterate all the value from the smiles because smile don't have any coordinate okay it's just smile so we are going to iterate all the smiles in our uh, smile variable so it's smiles okay then so here's some probability what it means if the probability is zero so this is not a smiley face it is normal here so if this probability is greater than one okay that's mean this person is smiling right now so if the length of the smile is greater than one so if had it it is smiling so let's put here the condition if the length of a smile is greater than one so this we are going to have put text here so this put text inside this put text you have to put here the frame and the text and the color and the coordinate okay so let's put here the frame then the text so let's put here smiley then the coordinate so coordinate should be let's say x comma y uh, uh, minus 10 because we are uh, trying to put it down here uh, let's Mm, let's say that this is the faces so we are trying to put it down about here so that swing is the x axis and it is the y axis so x axis should be constant y axis should be minus 10 so that's mean this text is pop up over here okay and we are uh, creating a rectangle and the fill the rectangle is in the red color okay so you can see here smiling uh, y minus 10 then you have to put here the coordinate of y uh, plus w then the constant in the coordinate of y and you have to put here the color so let's say put here the 15 15 then 255 or text color should be uh, white let's put here white and put here something okay so this coordinate uh, I think this coordinate should be the font okay it's not should be coordinate coordinate because this is not a rectangle right now we are just putting our text so that's you have to put here the font style so cb2 have some built-in uh, font so here's the font font our shape complex okay then we have to put here the thickness of the font and the color so let's put the thickness as one and the color 255 and uh, the thickness of the uh, what do you call thickness of the rectangle the rectangle thickness of the font okay then put here the cb2 dot line okay, okay then we also trying to create a rectangle here that's mean it should be a rectangle so over this rectangle uh, there is white text okay and the rectangle should be the right color okay so let's copy out from here and just change the coordinate okay 
so let's put it here minus 2 because we are going to fill it right then you have to uh, make some changes here let's say 14 and the uh, y coordinate should be constant right now okay so this is the code so if i run this code for control b okay so it will open my camera take some time okay because it is loading a two casket file okay so what happened cb2 has no attribute detect multi scale okay it's not be cb2 dot okay i'm getting some mistake here okay so it is a smile detect okay not a cb2 smile detect okay so let's run it for again control b okay so it is opening right now so you can see here uh let's let's open my mobile phone flash okay so you can see here smiling when you are smiling so you can see a smiling okay but why not a smiling is it is don't see something here okay so when a smiling uh, because my i am already always is smiling here, okay so you can see here my t-shirt you make me smile <laughs> okay so here's the tutorial hope you guys uh, enjoy this video and make sure to subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon for never miss an update and bye bye